Hello, in this unit number 6, we are going to see two topics, topic A and topic B. Topic A consists of gradually varied flow, GVF, in open channel flow. That is a theory in computation of their basic assumptions of GVF, dynamic equation of gradually varied flow, some alternative forms, classification of channel bed slopes, various GVF profiles, and methods of GF computations as well as the methods that is direct step method we have to study in that one. In part B, fluid flow around submerged objects. The topic covers practical drag coefficients, leak coefficients, types of drag. Introduction to drag on PR, cylinder, flat plates, and aerofile, Karaman's vortex sheet. Development of lift, introduction to Magnus effect, lift on cylinder and aerofile, as well as the polar diagrams. These are the some references books. Now, let us start with the gradually varied flow in open channel. The gradually varied flow, that is GVF, is defined as steady non uniform flow where the depth of flow varies gradually, slowly from section to section along the length of the channel. In case of gradually varied flow, the losses are negligible. The curvature of streamlines is also negligible and the loss of energy is essentially due to the boundary friction only. Therefore, a hydrostatic distribution of pressure in the vertical direction is to be considered. Almost all major hydraulic engineering activities in pre-surface flow involves the computation of the gradually varied flow. There are some basic assumptions in gradually varied flow. Each calculated that is by changes and many slope of the channel as theta is very small, therefore the depth measure perpendicular to the bed and along a vertical are the same. Small d equal to small y. The pressure distribution is hydrostatic and the pressure correction factor is taken as unity that is 1. Velocity distribution in the channel section is fixed. Therefore, the kinetic energy correction factor and momentum correction factor that is alpha and beta respectively remains constant in whole channel reach. The channel is prismatic that is channel has constant slope and its cross section is same over the entire reach of the channel under consideration. In GVF the flow in an open channel is termed as GVF when the depth of flow varies gradually with the longitudinal distance. Such flows are encountered both on upstream and downstream sides of the control sections. And this is in competition of gradually varied flow profiles that is GVF in open channels are important from the point of view of safe and optimum design and operation of any hydraulic structure. The basic assumptions as we mentioned in case of the gradually varied flow to be discussed here. Characteristics do not change with time and the pressure distribution is hydrostatic channel section. The head loss in a rich may be calculated using an equation applicable to any pump flow having the same velocity and hydraulic mean radius of the section. This implies that the slope of energy grade line may be evaluated using a uniform flow formula such as Manning's formula and Chase's formula with the corresponding roughness coefficient applicable primary for the uniform flow that is Chase's constancy Manning's roughness coefficient say n. The channel bottom slope is small. This implies that the depth of flow measured vertically is same as the depth of flow measured perpendicular to the channel bottom. There is no air entertainment. Some books I mentioned report to study the effects of air entertainment. 
the velocity distribution in the channel section is invariant this implies that the energy correction vector alpha is constant and does not vary with respect to distance the resistance coefficient is not a function of flow characteristics or the depth of flow it does not vary with distance and the channel is prismatic next lecture we are going to see the dynamic gvf